just go in with a family therapist like myself and just say, can we explore this? Can you help me understand why I would feel so deeply, deeply about that? Yeah. There is a story that I have repeated before. Mm -hmm. Young man, boy in primary, mm -hmm. refuses to go to school three or four times. But the parents are like, we don't understand. The child is not saying why. Mm -hmm. So one day, the mother is going through the shamba. And guess what? She finds the young man dead asleep in the Ukokomaindi. Uh -huh. So the mother was amused. She wasn't even angry. Mm -hmm. Was amused. So marches the kids to school and says he demands. Uh, she demands, I want to see teacher so and so. Because once now the boy was caught mm -hmm. and he had not been to school maybe a few days. Yeah. The mom said, you have to tell me what is going on. Now he had to say, mm -hmm. teacher so and so. And, mm -hmm. and so when the, when the mother went to school, she just went and said, I just want to understand. What is it about my son that because now even the, the, the a few students also say the same thing. The punishment towards this child was much more than to the others. Yeah, yeah. So the kid was like, what did I do? Mm -hmm. Because even when I have not done anything, it's like this teacher would come to school with whatever anger and emotions he had yeah. and he needed to release mm -hmm. and so he would look for this child. Look at that. And you know when you are talking about that, I just remember a story last week of a child, a student in Nakuru mm -hmm. who committed suicide. Mm -hmm. And you know the reason why? Mm -hmm. It is because they were about to close school yes. and now they were expected to be doing a certain activity that had been assigned to them. Yes. But these two girls were found plating each other's yeah. hair. Mm -hmm. So the principal demanded them to go and cut the hair. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the girl came back without uh, cutting, cutting the hair. Mm -hmm. Okay, I come on, be I just go back and bring your parent mm -hmm. to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when they had parent came with the principal stood ground, I come no, this was the mistake that was done. I Mm -hmm. I gave instructions, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. This is what's supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. And when they went back home, the girl committed suicide. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because of that. Mm -hmm. Now there was a conversation here. Mm -hmm. Who is to blame mm -hmm. in all this? Mm -hmm. People, some people are blaming the principal, mm -hmm. others were blaming the parent, mm -hmm. and others were blaming the child. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And we were having that conversation. And we realized that most children are in that particular stage. Mm. The question is, the kind of punishment we are giving yeah. to our daughters and our sons in schools, mm. how can it be um, at par, mm. the same level mm. with the mistake, yeah. so that they can learn. You don't ask hisi kwamba, you are over punishing me, mm. or they cannot connect mm. the punishment mm. to the mistake yes. they have made. Yes, absolutely. Th th that's what I was thinking. I was thinking that probably uh, principal Jifunga mm -hmm. because of of the punishment that that she um, she assigned to the mistake. Yeah. So so that now she can't go back because you see now if she goes back, then it looks like she is not you know and yeah. would, like she would lose her authority. authority. Although I do think that if she had had the dialogue, there is always the dialogue has a way of bringing about some uh, some tolerance. Yeah. So that now there uh, there could have been a, a discussion about okay, mm -hmm. so even even dialogue with the with the parent, so since this is too harsh, mm -hmm. but of course you know now the principal is also protecting, the, you know her authority, exactly. so yes. that uh, the child doesn't. And you see, if the other child had already cut the hair, mm -hmm. and this one hasn't, hasn't, it would have really looked. Bad. You know, yeah. bad. Mm -hmm. So, so there, 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 there is. It is true that uh, that uh, some of these uh, punishments that we give our children, mm -hmm. even at home, mm -hmm. we do need to kind of take a step back. There is, there is what we call, you know, we parents. Um, I mean, teachers are also, you know, playing the role of a parent exactly. in the school, yeah. in a way. And mm -hmm. I was going to say that teachers they wear so many hats. Mm -hmm. So you are mm -hmm. either a parent, a nurse, you are also a counselor, yeah. spiritual leader, all those things. Because a human being, and our children are human being, yeah. needs all that. Mm -hmm. So so it is very sad that that happened. But uh, but I do think that 
there needs to be uh, a revisit of uh, how do we discipline our children okay. in mm-hmm. schools. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were talking about uh, authoritative parenting mm-hmm. is where we balance firmness and punishment. Mm-hmm. So we we not uh, firmness and 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 compassion, compassion yeah. you know, or affirmation, so that now when we are punishing the behavior, the the, the way we do it, mm-hmm. the child doesn't feel that they are being uh, rejected yeah. or or abandoned mm-hmm. or or uh, they are being personally uh, dealt with. Mm-hmm. There is a child, eleven year old, who had that understanding. He told me, "I don't mind." being punished but when my father punishes me i feel like he's fighting yeah. with me yeah. because of the intensity by which he does that so so sometimes i think it is important for for even uh, the teachers as they struggle with this balance between punishing behavior and affirming the child yeah. that they also get opportunities to learn yeah. how to because you are playing a, the role of a parent at that yeah, point, that's me. you know mm-hmm. that uh, that I also look at how is this a teachable moment for the child? For the child. That it is not just a, a, a punishment, yeah. but it is a, a is a is a training. Mm-hmm. It is also a discipline. Discipline is like discipling. Yeah. So I am I am correcting you so that I can make you better. Mm-hmm. So 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 I, it's unfortunate that that happens because. I don't even know how you live with that yeah, kind it's, of it's uh, traumatizing. It's very, yeah, it is very, very traumatizing. Very all, all said and done, Grace, we need to understand that as parents, uh, we need to ensure that as we are bringing up these children, we need to bring we, we need also to train them mm-hmm. that in, in life, wars and winning in wars and winning in life mm-hmm. doesn't just come from strength, yeah. it comes from advantage. Yes. So we need to put our children at an advantage point yes. of view. Not uh, advantage doesn't mean being crafty. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. We just need to ensure that we create a favorable environment yes. in which our children are going to thrive and become better. Right. right? Let, me, let me say something about the parents and la- girls. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, it seems like uh, there was also a ball drop. Exactly. Yeah. Where, where the child, because nearly in the era for the parents. That is what I So, so even with parents, yeah. uh, you need a lot of wisdom. When your child feels that when the punishment that is offered at school is not uh, pleasing to you or to your child, that uh, you uphold the integrity of the school. Yeah. That you also train, allow, tell your child that this is a training, this is a, a learning experience, yeah. rather than this is to make you feel bad, it is, it is to punish you only. But you see, if we if we haven't trained our children from when they are growing up, that mistakes are opportunities of growth. Mm-hmm. Our children are feeling entitled yeah. for things to always go their way, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and we, we we are losing we are losing our children. If we even if we don't lose their our children the way these parents lost their children, we lose them in them learning how to be in real life situations. So so the the what we want to do is, uh, is again to even as parents to support the teachers by having these dialogues with them about uh, how they are also conceptualizing the behaviors of our children. Yeah. Uh, but um, I would say that in this case, uh, the parents could have also mitigated the situation by really encouraging the girl. The worst case scenario. Uh, of cutting your hair is that uh, you will have no hair yeah. for a few months, yeah. but it will it will grow, grow up. Again. Uh, mm-hmm. So so that a child uh, that young doesn't have to lose their life yeah. over yeah. that. Yeah. 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 So so the 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 the, 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 the playing the, um, the parents uh, we don't need to play the helpless mm-hmm. card mm-hmm. when it comes to a, to a tough situation like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. We need that is the point where you need to tell your child, um, your parent, and I. I really know what is best for you. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do this, and I promise you, it's gonna be okay because right. it will. Okay. Yeah. So, so when uh, when now the parent 
uh, supported the child, uh, or I don't know whether to call it support, but supported the child's feeling mm. that she can't cut her hair yeah. and brought her, let her go back to school, first of all, by herself. Mm. <laughs> you know, and then uh, either that parent was, uh, uh, you know, of the four parenting styles. styles. Mm -hmm. uh, they probably were the permissive parent mm -hmm. or the uninvolved mm -hmm. parent, yeah, because them rules are not enforced. Yeah. You know, children are allowed to 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 have a voice with no boundaries. Mm -hmm. So we need to be careful and bring the authoritarian and the permissive together, together. so we mm -hmm. get the authoritative okay. you know where we are saying well the school has said this son you know i love you daughter you know i love you i will support you in everything mm -hmm. and this one let's go with the school okay. so that we can we can be able to get you the education you need and then uh, we will deal with the rest of it right. mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Grace. Yes, yes. Ah, our time, our time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, I cannot allow you to go without reminding us of the, the class that you have um, yes. uh, tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow Tomorrow I have. Uh, I will be speaking uh, on Zoom and Facebook Live at 8 p.m. Nairobi time, and we will be talking about emotional regulation, mm -hmm. focusing on the emotion of anger. Mm -hmm. How do you manage okay. your anger? So if you tend to to hold it in if you tend to be uh, very reactive join the, the join the class look at uh, my facebook page grace karaoke hyphen derito mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, pay attention to when i start to go live mm -hmm. and also you can reach me through my website www.gracekarioki.co.ke or my phone number 0707 58 48 30 or seven or seven five eight mm -hmm. four eight mm -hmm. thirty there you have it i will be glad to answer any question all right yes grace always a pleasure yes. having you every wednesday thank you thank you so much looking forward to next week god willing amen i thank you sana 0707 58 30 that is the number that you can use to get in touch with grace four minutes past the hour up next news highlights and i'll be coming back with the morning tide on radio nini 88.3 fm don't go too far